Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another episode of Love Sick. We are currently at Lisbeth Savalani's residence, and I know you're wondering, why are we here? The very last episode, we saw that Alden had asked Lisbeth a specific question. And you know what? I wanted to do a little machinima about what's going on right here and why we're here, but the weird part of me wanted to play this out also. So here we are. <laughs> We are messy and lovesick. Oh no, I'm so sad. So I totally forgot that I had a table here that was really cute with some decor on it. And I deleted it because I've been kind of going through my CC folder. But let's get back to Lisbeth who is going to pop a squat right here. Look at what Lisbeth got at her door. Yes, this is a cake that says love and some macaroons, the same ones that she got on her desk when she used to work at um, that one building in San Myshuno. So you already know who this probably might be. She wants to throw it away so bad, but who doesn't want cake? I mean, <laughs> I know that if I, if I knew who sent this to me, I'm sorry, I would drop my pride. I would still eat it. And you already know that it was Gage that sent that to her. She knows it too. And of course he would send her favorite macaroons macarons macarons ma how do, how do y'all pronounce this <laughs> um these things she loves them and so the fact that he knows you know anyway i just think it's unbelievable that he would do this he's been texting her phone blowing her up asking if they could talk like every i know this is not a knock at the door lisbeth takes a deep breath honestly she's going to take a swig of this because she already knows there's a knock at the door and we already knew we knew what the cat was going to drag in and he's here in his athletic attire the audacity like i'm just going for a jog in the neighborhood honestly he's waiting at the door he looks angry too i'm not texting you back gosh i love her she is such a mood between you and i Lisbeth actually likes the fact that he's fighting for her so hard there's a period of time where he kind of didn't text her in a couple days and she was thinking to herself like wow I was just not worth it but this I don't know it's kind of fueling her it's making her stronger if that even makes sense you know it's making her feel like yeah whatever I'm not dealing with this stuff and of course Stormy would greet him at the door and you all remember who gave us Stormy right Gage oh Oh my gosh it's so bad but we are going to answer the door we're looking really good we should send him home don't you dare knock over my trash can gauge i swear to you why are you here i oh my gosh okay well <laughs> okay well and for some reason gauge is quite angry right now and lisbeth is just looking at him like you are just going to walk inside my house <laughs> who do you think you are listen i i didn't text you back for a reason you think that you could just send me some cakes and macarons and i just what i forgive you and he's like liz you have to hear me out i told you i told you there's nothing between me and her i want to be with you wait so you want me to believe that you have no history with that woman gage that's what you want me to believe that she just came into your apartment she's making things up see that's the problem with men these days is that you're always trying to make it seem like just the woman is going crazy or something and that's just not the case you have me out here in my nightgown he's like listen just let me come in and explain to you if, if you don't want to talk to me ever again that's fine but oh my gosh how dare you lisbeth is not self-absorbed is she i'm gonna say no back to the story lisbeth looks at gage and right now i'm not gonna lie he is looking kind of cute she misses this body i'm sorry i said it i said it you i said it i'm sorry yeah. gage looks at lisbeth and he's just like listen if you never want to talk to me again that's fine but please just let me tell you my side of the story let me tell you how much you mean to me i know she did not just look at his chesticles like that <laughs> uh, all right all right fine fine <laughs> i love being pretend stressed whatever fine let's go the fact that he showed up unannounced i'm not going to lie is another thing that kind of i don't want to say it turned her on but it just made her feel like don't wow <laughs> okay well, well, and he's like well let me get a drink of the let me get a sip of the wine that i sent and she's like whatever i'm yeah. gonna need it messing yeah. with you say what you need to say and let's just yeah let's just get it get it over with you know kind of thing i really do not know how we ended up here we were talking he was telling us how yes he did love raquel she was someone that mean, meant a lot to him lisbeth was truly hearing gage out and all of a sudden they're talking she sits on the counter and then he puts his head into her chest and he's like i miss you so much 
I miss you so much. You have to, you have to know I love you. And I know that the situation is crazy. I just have to figure it out. To be honest, it's been a long time and she does miss him. You cannot expect her to be perfect and make the best decisions all the time. Yes, she star. does miss him. And she's hey, like, I don't know, Gage. I just, and he's like, listen, just don't say anything. Don't just kiss me. How about that? Just kiss me. Don't say anything. We don't have to talk about it. And this is happening. You are too much. Like, I just, you need to go. And he's like, do you really want me to go? Do you really want me to go? Oh, gosh. I'm a bit surprised that Lizbeth even let this happen. But at the same time, knowing our girl, this is probably the most hurtful breakup she's ever been through. We just needed this one last time. With every touch and every motion, she kept telling herself this is the last time, the very last time we will ever do this. This is the last time. I'm not doing this again. Honestly, she kind of slipped up a little bit tonight and I can't even blame it on the wine. I'm gonna be honest, your girl really just wanted it. When she wakes up, I'm pretty sure she'll realize that this was a mistake. Which she's looking up and she's just thinking to herself, what the heck did I do? Gosh, well, it's the last time. Wake up, you have to leave. Gage, wake up. Well, Gage leaves and simultaneously, she ends up getting a text from Alden asking um just talking about his birthday today technically was his birthday and she also gets a call from him that is what we saw in the very last episode alden asked if she could use a break and if she would like to go camping there's two bedrooms and it could probably be good for the both of them lisbeth kind of laughs to herself <laughs> camping trip <laughs> you and i on a camping trip well we're here make yourself at home Alden says as he looks around at the wood panel walls, we finally made it to Granite Falls and the grandparents' cabin. We haven't been here since the girls were really, really little, you all. I mean, that's something, isn't it? Lizbeth is going to take a little tour here. She's loving it. She's just appalled that they have even had this cabin and she's never been. She's never, ever visited this cabin as long as they were married. So this is new for her. And of course, you already know she had to bring some food here. She has to have her Oreos in there. I don't know if you see them, but <laughs> she came prepared. It's like eight in the morning and we should probably eat something. You hungry? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wanna make some, let's do oatmeal. Lizbeth is, Lizbeth is just like, let's do oatmeal. All right, Liz. <laughs> Marie does not know that Alden took this trip with Lizbeth. We will get into that in a minute. Don't hate me. Honestly, Alden feels like it wouldn't matter either way. He has no intentions on doing anything with Lizbeth. He really just felt like, you know what? This would be a good opportunity for the both of us to just, you know, get away from it all. Get away from it all. Our terrible lives right now. Because he does know that Lizbeth had a potential situation with Gage. Lizbeth never got the opportunity to even tell Alden that Gage indeed had a crazy ex-girlfriend or girlfriend because they were technically still dating. She will probably end up telling him, but right now she is just enjoying the moment she really said yes to get away there was no intention behind this nothing that she's thinking of plotting of she is still kind of recovering from the breakup with her and gage of course or not even breakup it's just it's still unannounced <laughs> we do need to break up with him even though we said it for some reason you know how it still feels like it's still there we do need to officially break up with him and i feel like that is why lisbeth needed this trip last night she knows what she did she woohooed one last time with gage and she means it she's going to break up with him officially tell him it's over and not just because she's angry and just say i'm done she hasn't really broken up with gage she hasn't genuinely said i am done i'm finished she's just been hurt and treating it as a breakup because she knows that that's just what i guess she's going to end up doing but they finished their oatmeal, which looked really delicious, by the way. And we have the dogs with us. Alden could not leave the dogs. You know, he he sees this as a really fun trip for the dogs as well. Skipper is just skipping everywhere. <laughs> and ooh, Elizabeth is going for a second. She's like, Al, you made this oatmeal really good. Look at them wanting her food. So Al, Elizabeth kind of like shouts out, Skipper is so adorable. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was trying to get them to have puppies. And Gus still loves Lizbeth. I know their relationship is fading a little bit because she barely sees him or interacts with him, but this was Lizbeth and Alden's dog. And he's getting so old, you all. So Gus may be going soon, which really is, that breaks my heart. Is he going into the tent? Hey, where are you going? I'm just checking out some things with the tent. Okay. What's up, Lizbeth? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Raj, I am not ready to date yet. He thinks that Lizbeth has broken up with Gage and is ready to move on. And I 
think that he may even be trying to put her on to audio marie's cousin because in the last episode you know raj is really close with her family everything is intertwining um sure why not go ahead go go for it go for it raj i don't know who it is but who, who knows the girls don't know that they took this trip together also they didn't even tell them right now alden and lisbeth are two adults in their 40s ish that need to figure their stuff out they don't answer to anyone right now no matter how old you are it doesn't mean you're perfect sometimes life just has a funny way of doing things so she's gonna call alden out here and ask like how do you play with this thing hey come on i didn't come here to sleep he's like sorry fell asleep <laughs> No way! Obviously, we know that Alden should have told Marie that Lisbeth was coming on this trip, or actually scratch that. He should have asked her if that was even okay. Lisbeth and Marie still haven't talked. Lisbeth has been very avoidant because she just doesn't want to get into it. She was helping Alden that one night, and that was that. Alden views Lisbeth being here as something that's kind of innocent. If Lisbeth wanted to go off and hike on her own or go out and you know, go to a bar down the street. He doesn't mind and they are really just taking this trip to kind of get away from the things they were going through. He doesn't see it as them taking the trip together, if that even makes sense. They're in separate bedrooms. He is going to call her back because this kind of distracted him for a bit. He's like, sorry, I was in there fixing that tent. You know, it's been kind of rusty lately. We should have probably got some bug spray. Okay, well, yeah, just go ahead and throw it. It's a horseshoe. It won't bite. She's like, I got this. You got that? Let me focus, Al. Alden is going to call his wife back. He knows that she's probably just asking about the trip, seeing if they made it there safe. Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Sure. Alden says, oh man, I should probably wrap this up. I have to go feed the dogs. You can still play this though. And so Lizbeth is, she's having a ball right now. She's enjoying playing this. I didn't even realize it was Sunday. I thought it was Saturday. No. The girls are with Naval. They are spending their winter break with him. I guess he had a bunch of things lined up. We can pop in with them if you all want to. We'll have a winter fest without the girls. Sometimes it's like that. Alden has a little moment to himself here. So he's going to actually call Marie while he's right here, kind of away from Lisbeth. Hey, how was everything? Yep. Oh gosh, it's beautiful out here. The ride was fine. He still wants to ask her about her day. Marie has given the phone to baby Anthony and now he's talking to Anthony. He's like, daddy misses you. I can't wait to take him out here. Yep, so there's that. Alden is in his element right now, this outdoorsy man right here, I tell you. Having a break from the doctor's office has been, or the hospital has been amazing. And you wanna know something? That's what I feel like Alden could do. Instead of working in a busy hospital, he could possibly own his own private practice. You know, something like that. Just another idea for gameplay with him. I think Lizbeth needed this, considering we got to see how her night went last night. And she stops here, she's a little out of breath, just from running. <laughs> that long even though she's pretty athletic she loves to exercise and he's like everything all right yeah i just the cold air it feels great out here hey let's see if there's any frogs in here he's so outdoorsy <laughs> so they're just chilling right now oh my goodness these bugs alden listen i don't know why it's freezing and the mosquitoes are out i have no idea why alden asked lisbeth if she wanted to tag along with the dogs and you know come up to the forest now <laughs> this is where abigail got lost yes little abigail got lost in the forest it was so scary <laughs> i thought there was some sort of cave but i cannot find it all i see is trees oh my gosh it's making me so dizzy let's just have alden kind of do some hiking he's like yeah uh you can come with i'm gonna Go look around, probably do some hiking, see what I can find, catch some fireflies or something. Ooh, and speaking of fireflies, she should probably go collect these. He's off exploring, he's off doing his own thing, and that's what I mean. He needed this time to heal too, and why are you calling me? Lisbeth just caught some fireflies. She thinks it's the coolest thing ever. Lisbeth is on the phone with Eliana having a chatty family call, and she actually has Stormy right now, so she's watching Stormy. Eliana's making her laugh. So how's the trip, sis? It's great. How would it be? Mm -mm. I don't know. Going to a cabin with your ex sounds just crazy to me. I hope you have your healing and I hope you have a good time just being away from everything and take a lots of pictures. So Elizabeth is like, you know what? Let me make sure I do that right now. I'll send you a picture right now. Elizabeth needed this. I'm surprised she even has cell phone service. I want her to come in here and look at some bugs. Hey, you're back already? Yeah, but I'll be right back. I'm heading out again. He's just off doing his own thing. I love it. Gross, stink bugs. I wonder why they call them stink bugs. As much as Elizabeth should be focusing on her break, 
and what she's doing right now. She cannot help. She just cannot help herself. She is going to check her social bunny. Let's see. So the girls are great. They're having some lunch. Akira messaged us. Lizbeth, have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. We've been talking on and off to Akira. Just very simple, casual conversation. You know, since he saw us at Gage's apartment, he just kind of, I guess, figured to ask if I was okay. We always ask each other how we're doing. So I'm going to send a nice, friendly message. Just when I think everything is fine, Raquel messaged us on social bunny and said i hope a cow plan eats you or something in this split second lisbeth kind of is less mad at gage and more mad at raquel right now this is not cool so we're gonna react like that she definitely wants to head back now so we probably have to go find alden who luckily is just out here waiting i feel like it would be awesome too if we just started building a snow pile together i swear there used to be a cave over here where you could meet the hermit isn't that the 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 name the hermit in the Granite Falls and the Outdoor Retreat pack, you can tell I never really got to play this pack. Alden is telling us that he uh, just used to really explore up here. Al, you know you always talk about the outdoors, right? I feel like you should get a job in something that has to deal with this. Like what, what do you suggest? He asked. <laughs> I don't know, why don't you be a ranger? Bear protector, protect wildlife, I don't know. <laughs> He laughs to himself, bear protector. She, she knows nothing about nothing. I don't know. She, the things that she says, bear protector. So you want me to protect the wildlife here, be a camp ranger. Well, this was epic. Alan's actually gonna take a picture of Lizbeth. He's not doing anything wrong. I don't know. Maybe he'll tell Marie later that she came on the trip. But anyway, what do you think? Nah, it's all right. <laughs> I love it. Are you doing sit-ups in the snow? Yeah, I get. I stay in shape. He can't believe it because he. This is a new Lizbeth, you know? He doesn't know this Lizbeth, the athletic Lizbeth, the one that likes to focus on her health and all that stuff. Oh, we can go hiking? Okay, so if we click on the sim, we can go hiking then. Hey, do you wanna go hiking? Come on, I just wanna show you a spot. All right, go ahead, I'll follow you. Let's just go hiking over here. I'll find my own way. You sure? Don't get lost. I know Abigail got lost. And then I think <laughs> Lizbeth is gonna come over here. <laughs> And Chalk over here like, what do you mean Abigail got lost? No way, Alden, no way. Let's go back, it's late. I promise I'll hike with you tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, she actually got lost. Marie found her. It was pretty scary for her, but we found her and she was fine. Wow, I can't recall if the girls ever even told me that. I don't think they have. That was really nice, Marie. Yeah. And speaking of Marie, Elizabeth is like, does she know that I'm on this trip with you? He's like, Harry, come on, let's get up. We have to go before it gets too cold. Hey, I asked you a question. Let's go before the bears come out. We are back at the cabin. Lizbeth just took a shower and she's feeling much better. Alden actually is still out here. He obviously loves this thing. You remember when there was a fire here? That was hilarious. Obviously the question that Lizbeth asked is playing in his mind and you know, he's thinking maybe I should send Marie a good night text. And so he's like, hey babe, don't know if you and Ann are sleeping yet. Good night, love you. And Lisbeth is feeling flirty, what? She's like, is it just me or am I getting old? I feel tired already. Alden laughs and he thinks that's kind of cute. I mean, in like a funny way, but he's just gonna say, <laughs> you just need to get out in the wild more. I am going to bed. <laughs> I don't know what you have planned tomorrow, but just give me a knock if uh, if you need anything. Alden is gonna call Skipper to bed. Skip, go to bed, girl. Go to bed. Alden actually had to wake up because I forgot that Gus needed to eat, <laughs> but it says, it feels like it has been forever since Alden has been romantic with his partner. It could be paranoia, it could be anxiety or a gut feeling, but Alden can't help but wonder what his partner's up to or who they are seeing behind his back. He is feeling insecure because Marie never texts goodnight back, which I guess isn't really like her, you know? I mean, shouldn't she? You know, we're just saying goodnight. I'm trying to respect your space. Lizbeth wakes up and she is freezing cold. It's one in the morning and it was okay. But for some reason, things just got super duper chilly. <laughs> so she's coming out here to figure out if the heat is on and it's feeling super cold everywhere. Oh my goodness, she's so cold. <laughs> she walks outside and she's just thinking to herself, as beautiful as this is, I am freezing. Why does it feel like this inside and outside? So she hates that she's gonna wake up Alden right now, but she's gonna wake him up and tell him, hey, I think the heater is broken or something. It is freezing. Al, I'll wake up. It's freezing. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
and he's like oh no he's like i hope it's not the i hope it's not the the furnace again alden is going to light this fire we never use this he tells us beth but um i can get some sleeping bags gosh it's cold his nose is running already he's sniffing a little bit so i think he's gonna say hold on i think i have some sleeping bags in the attic just hang tight well they were a little dusty but i cleaned them off and uh <laughs> it should be good enough she's like i can't with you is he making a cheating non-committal infidelity joke that's kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> can you sleep i feel like i can't sleep not really honestly i haven't been sleeping a lot lately so you and marie where is she exactly um oh my goodness stop it i, I should probably tell you she is with her family i mean i've told you that much but she barely wanted to talk she didn't want to go on the trip with me she just wanted her space and it's i don't know i don't know what else to do She's like, you guys are great together. He's happy. He's like, I know. I I don't know. After I lost my dad, I feel like she probably, I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't the best attentive husband. And now I'm backtracking. I go to check the sentiments really quick. I was just curious. And apparently, Elizabeth is enamored by the comfortably compatible lifestyles. Elizabeth found that sharing a lifestyle with Alden only deepened the attraction that Elizabeth feels. And Alden is feeling like they're growing closer and... Mm, 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 mm. Well, Al, I'm pretty sure Marie just needs space, you know? I mean, I just needed space. And I was like, yeah, and look at where that ended up. And Lisbeth is literally staring at him like, yeah, you have a point. <laughs> well, let me tell you about my week. So she's now describing the time when Raquel barged through the apartment of her soon-to-be ex-boyfriend and demanded that he talk to her. So I guess I know how you feel. Don't start apologizing again, Liz. You know, we already squared this away at the gazebo. I understand. She's like, no, but really, it was intense. I wanted to beat her up, Alden. You have no idea. They're now venting, and I probably won't story tell all of this, but basically, I want you to be under the impression that, ooh, did Marie text us? No, she didn't. He was just texting. <laughs> He was just checking his phone. I do want us to have tons of deep conversations and I want us to kind of have this understanding talk almost. I want us to get to know each other more, get to know what we've been going through. Elizabeth yawns and she's like, well, I'm getting really tired now. We should probably go to sleep. And he's like, yeah, so do I get a pillow or no? And he's like, yeah, sure. Look, he's tired too. Pillows are actually quite scarce around here, uh, Lisbeth. So <laughs> you got to sleep on that old thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Alden, get me the pillow, please. <laughs> give me the pillow. Thank you. And now that she's got the pillow, he hits her back and he's like, give me the pillow. It's the only good pillow out here. <laughs> I'm sure Gina bought these pillows. Your mom would never give me the pillow. He's like, okay, 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 okay. Okay, you can have it. Take it. Take the pillow. I promise. I'm done. Jeez, you got stronger. He wakes up and just seeing Lisbeth sleeping there, it reminds him that they had an epic pillow fight last night. I think Alden has the same idea as Lisbeth and decides to also call the girls. So normally he calls Madison because Madison is good for answering her phone. But recently, Madison has been very distant, I think, from everyone. Just from being the oldest, I believe that Madison is starting to just kind of come into herself. And I don't have enough time to even express what kind of teen or person she's growing into. But I just hope that you could understand it. Hey, yep, trip's going good, you know. I had sleep on the sleeping bag last night because the heat went out. You know, this thing is so janky, so. <laughs> and Elizabeth wakes up like, hey, and then Alan's like, all right, gotta go, Lisbeth. Uh, <laughs> gotta go, Abigail. And I think Abigail kind of heard her mom like, wait, wait, what? He's like, that was Abigail. Oh, I was gonna call her too. Do you think she heard me? Probably. She probably heard you say, hey, is there any more oatmeal? I mean, you couldn't have said it loud enough. But just in that quick second, we're kind of thinking, why are we? Oh my gosh, Alden. Why are we? Alden? Lisbeth is kind of like talking to herself or talking out loud to Alden. Does anyone know we're on this trip? And Alden thinks to himself, well, did you tell the girls? No. Did you tell Marie? Lisbeth is asking him. He still didn't answer. Alden, did you tell Marie? Let me guess. You didn't tell her that I was coming on this trip, did you? 
It's not that I was telling her to keep a secret. That's your wife. I know, I know, I know. I don't want any other problems. Did you not forget what I told you about Raquel? <laughs> if she doesn't know I'm here, she will flip. She'll think I want you again. Well, you don't. Ooh, that's awkward. It just got so awkward. Why would you say that? You're right. We're just friends. So they kind of are reiterating that they're just friends. And I think saying it out loud makes them feel like they're not doing anything wrong. And so I think they're actually going to become best friends. Right now, she can't even talk to Asher, which is her actual best friend. <laughs> so we're best friends. We're good. And this part right here, similar Sims, the fact that they have more in common now and more that they can relate on back when they were younger is so intense to me because it says it's so comfortable to be around a sim that Elizabeth has so much in common with and is much oh and is more than a little bit in love with oh gosh this was a bad idea just friends okay friends <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I definitely think we're going to make the most of our vacation. We do need to focus on why we're here, right, Alden and Lizbeth? Uh-oh. Um, Alden, the sink. <laughs> oh, no. So he's going to have to come over here and fix it. They're supposed to actually go hiking today, you know, to get a little nature walk in. And he looks completely uh he tries not to look at Lizbeth because she looks so adorable in this outfit might I say it's getting hot in here which I have no idea how because our furnace broke our you know heat is not working but it's definitely feeling hot in this enclosed space so we just need to come out here we're here to relax we're here to explore I think Alden is going to go ahead and ask if he let's just take a picture <laughs> he's like you totally fit in in the environment now <laughs> he's never seen her this way you know when they were together she wasn't really outdoorsy as much as she is now she's different and they have a lot more in common now and i think that's amazing all right well you're snapping all these pictures so come on let's take a selfie together lispeth makes a joke like we have to document this moment because before we go hiking what if <laughs> What if we don't make it out? At least our kids will have a last photo of us, even though they might be upset that we went on the trip together. I think it's best to pause it right here and revisit after I see your amazing comments because it's been a while since I've played with Liz and Alden in one household and I am actually overwhelmed with their chemistry and there is actually some things that happened off cam. I love that we're older, but life just feels so messed up, but also so good at the same time. And I just don't, I don't wanna rush it. We're gonna have to revisit them. We have a couple hours or so left on this trip. We only booked it for two days and Winterfest is coming up. So I wanna know what you think and please comment right now down below what you think i love you all just keep swimming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i will no. <laughs> all right peace out I